Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The proliferation of low radar cross section drone or remotely piloted aircraft RPAs or UAVs has enhanced the aerial threat by many fold. They may be employed individually or as swarm as a cheaper and flexible options to target the adversary's asset. Now in order to counter these new era threats there is a need of multi sensor multi kill options integrated into cohesive system with suitable mobility in the lights of the same the ministry of defense had released an rfp in the year 2022 to procure nine integrated drone detection and interdiction system under by indian category the system is being procured for indian army the requirement outlined by ministry of defense states that the ids should have surveillance and detection system based on radar and passive rf detection it will have an eo fcs tracking system based on eo and thermal imaging site with tracking facility the surveillance and detection system should be able to detect 0.1 square meter rcs target from 10 kilometers away and 0.01 square meter rcs target from 8 kilometers away The minimum detection altitude is 3 kilometers. The system should have both soft kill and hard kill measures to neutralize the UAVs. The jammer should be able to generate high power RF with suitable parameters to jam and degrade the drone up to a range not less than 5 kilometers using directional antenna. The system should have option for integration with existing guns and missile system of army air defense to exchange target data to initiate or allow engagement of targets using suitable interface device on 10th june 2023 the cds general anil chauhan has visited el or economic explosives limited nagpur the firm is a subsidiary of solar industry the picture what you see in front of your screen is from his recent visit and in the background you can also see various types of pinaka rocket the rocket at the center is the guided pinaka rocket the cds was received by solar group chairman satnarayan nuwal the cds was taken to the el test range for demonstration of firing of indigenously developed 30 mm ammunition being supplied to indian navy el is also developing a state of art smallest rocket motor the test firing of the smallest rocket motor was also demonstrated to cds these rockets will be equipped to the counter drone system or cds with hard kill el has also demonstrated the soft kill capability of this system so talking about the counter drone system being developed by el it is going to be a micro missile based counter drone system with both soft kill and hard kill capability the proposed system under development contains a large number of 2 kg micro missiles which can effectively engage hostile drones up to a range of 2 km designed for rapid operation deployment on a high mobility system a micro missile cassette or a pod containing 24 or 36 or 48 missiles achieve a heavy and sustained volume of fire and can be seamlessly integrated with a radar and a jammer on a 4x4 2.5 ton vehicle or any other vehicle as deemed appropriate like all terrain vehicles the radar based detection system will have a detection range of 4 to 5 km which would be subsequently classified using an electro optical system at a distance of 2 km the cds solution will also have a soft kill capability to jam the satellite based navigation systems and rf communication system of the hostile drones supplementing a micro missiles based hard kill system the use of high speed killer drone as an economical hard kill option is also under development which will be additional to micro missiles A micro missile based hard kill system will have multiple advantages in comparison to a singular laser based system in terms of system portability and capability to handle swarm of drones 
larger standoff neutralization of hostile drones and ruggedness to survive harsh battlefield realities and environment another variant of the system is under development which will be a shoulder launched missile of weight just 1 kg that can be fired by soldiers to inflict a hard kill up to a range of 600 meters this will be a good tactical solution along the line of control or line of actual control or coastline or even the hinterland this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector